his team could just focus on Rogue Mage Druid once again. It's been really feeling really good for them. And obviously they've been having results. They've been on fire with their offense as well as their defense. And I'm curious to see if Zyzon has made any adaptations. We are kind of talking about Drainer with that Feral Affinity playing really aggressive, big improvements from last week. And that could be the extra bit of spice that they need to take down Method Black. So there's basically three, well, actually four, with Chalky Milkman, Rogue Mage teams that we have to consider as who is actually the best in Europe at it. I feel like clearly right now it has to be Method Black. They're just the most consistent, and this series could actually solidify that. So yesterday, Zyzon 3-0 Diabolus and they couldn't take a game off of them. So if Method Black can make Zyzon look easy in this specific matchup, then I would most definitely say that Method Black are currently the best Rogue Mage Druid in Europe. I mean, that's definitely, there's definitely an argument to be made there. Kitty shot onto Jamie. What is Method Black gonna be able to get done? Drainer moves forward, gets crowd control over onto Chaz. A full bash, Arxian gets straight out. They're doing it all in. Big damage on Chaz. Another Stunlock comes in. Triple Maledict, War Stomp. But I think Chaz is going to be able to survive just using the bar skin, using the shadow meld in travel form, and he's going to be able to hightail it out of there, get behind the pillar. He's going to be completely fine. That was a good attempt. The Drainer managed to find a full bash, but there's big damage on Raikou. In the meantime, what is Chaz going to be able to do? Iron Bark should be enough to deflect the damage. Drainer into a full blind sap. He's actually just sitting it. Drainer playing a little bit greedy there, but I think he's going to get away with it. Looks like it so far. Iron Bark's going to be fading shortly, so they have to interrupt Lightning Lasso to save Raikou from having to use that also precious Ice Block cooldown, the main objective for Zyzon when targeting the Mage. Jamie under fire here, Drainer still crowd control, potentially a swap, so Drainer did anticipate himself as the target, likely because he's running at Feral Affinity, so he doesn't want to use his Vyrus Medallion on blind because then he will die in a kidney shot later on, so being able to sit through that blind now allowed him to use it if he needed to in that position, but he didn't actually even need to. Now we'd likely see Drainer go into cat form shortly and start attacking down Raikou and Waz. This is also important to note is Drainer's positioning. Now you might be thinking, why is Drainer standing in the middle of the map? They're attacking him. He shouldn't be in the middle of the map. That's too scary. Well, he's playing with a Destruction Warlock, and if you're a healer playing with a Destruction Warlock, Pillars are actually your enemy because the Destruction Warlock needs to be able to cast Fear and Chaos Bolt and he can't cast them through walls, which is why we did see Drainer playing out in midfield. This is to enable his team to assist him. Whereas normally, yeah, you wouldn't want to be out in the open as the healer, you, but in this case, you actually want to be and you want your team to help you. So definitely some strategy adaptations here from Zyzon. Big attack onto Raikou. Hopefully Iron Bark is going to be enough here for Chaz. He would like it to be. It looks like it's going to be. Raikou now switching their attention to Jamie, realizing that Drainer is... They can't stay on Drainer forever because an Elemental Shaman and a Destruction Warlock free casting are just going to own them. So they can't stay on Drainer, but if they don't stay on Drainer, then he's going to be in cat form. And this strategy from Zyzon, which is effectively three damage dealers, is how they've been beating a lot of the teams in the tournament. Yeah, well, look at the strategy coming in from Zyzon. Normally, when we see this composition played out, it's all about Zyzon just surviving, running away, trying to live as long as possible, but they're playing it a lot different. Jamie, Drainer, Mercy, they're just running on top of Method Black. They're not letting them run away. They're just jumping on Raikou, on Chaz, trying to just get a, as much damage as possible. Method Black has been trying to punish a little bit with damage over on the Drainer, but Look, Drainer, he's got his bark skin, he has iron bark, he has his trinket, he's feeling quite healthy. Jamie and Mercy have always been there, been there to back him up. Right now, Chaz is actually sitting down for a drink, and I think that could cost Raikou his ice block, and it does. And I mean, you need mana to prolong the game, but trading out ice blocks that early on can be a little bit scary for Method Black. It's kind of interesting after how long World of Warcraft Arena has been around. You would have normally said that the Rogue Mage Druid is on the clock, they need to close the game out, but... It's actually now the case, I would say, that the Destruction Warlock like Elemental Shaman I mean, Restoration Druid are the ones that need to rush down the Rogue Mage Druid and end the game before the Assassination Rogue's damage is going to overwhelm one of the targets being either the Lock or the Shaman. So how things have changed over time. Now Zyzon's composition, actually the Rushdown and the Rogue Mage are the dampeners here in game number one. Mana is even between the teams so far on the grand. Infernal's called in with Lightning Lasso. This is a big power play, but Mercy gets denied. Cycloned up right before he could deal some big damage during that stun lock. It was unfortunate for the Destruction Warlock. Mercy still baiting interrupts with Fear. He's casting Fear over and over, trying to bait interrupts so he can then use Chaos Bolts, which are going to hit for the most amount of damage during Infernal's. One Chaos Bolt on Waz. Waz gets rooted in line of sight. If they had a Lightning Lasso or a Bash, they can't Bash. Drainer's polymorphed. This is allowing Waz to stay aggressive. 
on to Jamie. And this, this is the strategy I wanted to see the Rogue Mages try, is casting more Polymorphs on Drainer along with Hibernates. Crowd Control Drainer and then target one of the damage dealers. So far, it seems like it's building a lot more pressure. Jamie at sub 50% health. Chaz looking for a Cyclone at low health, potentially. Jamie's going to use Demonic Gateway to get out of range of it. Good positioning there and awareness, realizing if he's Cycloned at low health, it will be difficult for Drainer to recover later on. Chaz does ultimately get it, buying time for Waz to get back to the target. Chaz still going for Cyclones, wants to switch that over to Drainer as soon as possible. Chaz moves in to go for it, but Jamie stuns him with the Elemental. Jamie's still just getting burnt right now. Huge damage, no defense for six more seconds. Mercy needs to save him. Drainer's interrupted, he can't heal. Mercy's just trying to go for a kill while Jamie's at sub 10%, but he's not finding the kill. He's now polymorphed on his Dark Soul. Fortunately, Drainer does get a big heal just in the nick of time. Yeah, it looks like Jamie's gonna completely stay Stabilized. That was the most pressure we've seen from Method Black so far in the game. Raikou still hasn't used his cold snap, and this is something... It's a really risky maneuver, because if Jamie and Mercy can force him to use the cold snap now, that third ice block takes such a long time to recover. So I really want to see Jamie and Mercy focus down Raikou, force him to use that cold snap in the, nice, in the next minute and 40 seconds, and that's going to delay his third ice block for quite some time. I'm not exactly sure why these mages do this, but I think it's just such a risky play. All right, let's see if the risk pays off here. Method Black, they had an opening, but it slipped away. Now they got a lot of work to do to get to that same point again. And Daphne is a lot higher. Mana is even. The teams are evenly matched so far in game number one, which is saying a lot because Method Black have been tearing up the European season here, or the European uh, region in the summer season. So if Zyzon can pull off a victory against Method Black, I'm, I feel like it's almost entirely possible that they can just win this entire cup, which is going to flip the entire scoreboard on its head in terms of point earnings. And Zyzon could be a top contender for the summer season overall. And they're the only team really running this composition, the Elemental Shaman, the Destruction Warlock, and the Restoration Druid. And they play it in a way that is not anticipated at all. Like we've been saying, usually this composition is all about run around the pillar, don't die, run around the pillar, don't die, kill the whole team in dampening. But they play with the Feral Affinity and they just run at their opponents trying to max out their damage. And it's a strategy and play style that I kind of want to play on the ladder, honestly, and it's working out for them against the best teams. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of aggression. Finally, Jamie pressured down a little bit in this matchup. Chaz was able to escape and completely reset his mana. And like you said, the roles of these teams have kind of shifted. Method Black, they're not really on a time limit here. It's Zyzon. Eventually, Waz on the Assassination Rogue is going to be able to take down Jamie on the Elemental Shaman if they have enough time. Drainer potentially going for a drink. Right? Actually, no, he's just playing really, really aggressive. He doesn't have a trinket, so there's an all-in attempt here from Raikou and Waz, potentially, if they can get it. And there is the Ice Block coming in from Raikou. We'll have to see. I think he actually had to use his Cold Snap. We'll have to see if he used Cold Snap to get that Ice Block, because, no, okay, good. He was able to get enough time where he's going to have his third ice block available now. Let's see what Zyzon can get done. We're at 20% dampening. They're all over Method Black. They have a lot of pressure. Raikou at 50% health. Waz at 60% health. Chaz a little bit low as well. And Zyzon, this offensive push is paying off for them. The fact that Drainer isn't going for a drink and he's just sitting in cat form tells me that they need to end the game now. And that's their main point to try and win. They're just going to play aggressive, deal damage, and try and end the game rather than go for drinks. So it's do or die for them because they're going to be tapped shortly if they keep playing this strategy out. Raikou gets counterspelled there by Mercy during his Icy Vein, stopping a lot of damage while Jamie was low on health. Well timed there on Mercy's part. Drainer's out of crowd control, trying to connect some heals, but Thayer's Maledicts are absorbing them. Jamie cycloned at low health. This could be game over for Jamie. Vendetta available in three more seconds. Any crowd control on Drainer. Jamie's likely to go down. Drainer's going to jump in, try and stun Waz potentially to save Jamie. Doesn't have it. He evasions it. Waz evasions it, then sets up crowd control for the kill. Perfectly played here from Waz. He knew exactly what would shut him down and stopped it prematurely and now is moving in for the kill looking to finish off Jamie here 26 percent dampening they're going to do it they close it out beautifully done by method black in game one yeah really nice crowd control coming in at the end of the game there see we've been excited to see their growth you'll be very happy to see them once again in this week's top three actually with a top three finish here which they guaranteed guys it means they are for sure going to have more points than wildcard gaming and Diabolos. So there's a very good chance they'll end this week with top two on points. And I mean, that's fantastic considering this squad only came together in the summer season. All right. Tap on Jamie. What is Waz going to be able to get done? There's a stun on Raikou denying the opener. But there's been no opening. Waz, he gets feared up. He hasn't been able to land a stun so far in this game. Mercy, really good denial of the opener from Method Black. 
All right, let's see if they can do it and build some momentum with that denial. We're about to find out. Chaz the target here for Zizon. That could be a way to just end the game if Chaz makes a mistake positionally and gets caught. They could just blast him out in midfield. Certainly an option here. Big attack on Mercy. He's going to respect it with the unending resolve, but this wasn't Vendetta. That wasn't Icy Veins. That's a pretty powerful defensive cooldown to trade when no aggressive ones were used. They also get Drainer Spire's medallion. That sets up for Drainer to even be a target. Method Black could end the game momentarily with good crowd control. They're engaging it. Method Black could close this out in quick fashion. If they get any extra crowd control on the Drainer, Chaz is in position. They demonic gateway out of the smoke bomb, barely connecting to Mercy's side, but Chaz is moving on top of him. Chaz is trying to close out the crowd control, but gets feared away by Mercy. Drainer needs to make sure he doesn't get cycloned here. He's going to bash Chaz. Stall out the Cyclone, stall out the crowd control, allow his team to build some momentum potentially onto Waz. Mercy the target this time around. So Method Black once again mixing it up, showing that they not only can play to one strategy, which is another reason why I would say they're one of the best rogue mages in Europe right now, is because they don't just play one strategy against teams. They're always willing to mix it up, and every time that they do, they get high value trades. Yeah, there's a lot of openings here for Method Black. I feel like going after Mercy is probably the biggest. Bash on Drainer. What is Raku going to be able to get done? Beautiful denial there by Jamie. Wind shear on the Ring of Frost. He denies the follow-up polymorph from Raku with his Thunderstorm. So that was really well played, keeping Drainer free from crowd control. Now Mercy, as a result, isn't going to be taking too much damage. Waz and Raikou still just trying to get some pressure rolling. If they can find crowd control, I think it's likely Raikou's going to pull the trigger with that icy veins. Waz, of course, he has the Vendetta rolling up in around 50 seconds, but that lines up with Drainer's Trinket. So I want to see them try to make a push with icy veins before Drainer has his Trinket available. We'll have to see if Jamie's able to deny that crowd control. Chaz, you can see he's already positioned far away. He realizes they have the late game advantage. He wants to keep his man nice and high, uh, just in case he's not able to drink later on. Yeah, Drainer not playing for the short-ended strategy this time around, but getting caught in a polymorph when Mercy actually doesn't have much defense. If they continue the crowd control and have damage, Mercy could be in trouble. Jamie's going to Thunderstorm was. Yeah, and he manages to get him away. Waz on the floor trying to get a reself. Is he going to reposition over onto Mercy? He does land the kidney shot. Raikou in a good position to follow it up with damage as well. Trainer is in position to help him. Iron Bark should be enough to deny the damage and increase his healing. Mercy gets topped off, and it looks like Zizon completely stabilizes. All right, Zizon stabilizes throughout that attack, which could have been a scary moment for Mercy. Raikou is now under fire. Chaz denies damage there with Iron Bark, soaking up a huge Earth Shock, but Jamie has more damage with the Lightning Lasso. Waz is going to stall it with the Silence. Now a Polymorph, great control right now from Method Black in this position. There's no defense. This is actually a scary moment in the game for Mercy. He's going to use that Demonic Gateway. Drainer uses his Glider's Medallion, now blinded on it. Method Black have 10 more seconds to close the game out if they can get on target. Waz is trying to get there. Raikou's moving over, but he doesn't have a Water Elemental. He's trying to resurrect it to maximize his damage output here, but he's being denied quite a long time on its return to the fight. Drainer is still out of line of sight, but Mercy's avoidance along with Jamie's Thunderstorm bought enough time for Drainer to get out of crowd control, make that scary situation a whole lot less intimidating. Yeah, Waz well, still on Mercy, and I, I think one of the reasons why Method Black has changed up the strategy is Mercy really was the sort of playmaker for them in game number one, allowing a Destruction Warlock to free cast Fear and Chaos Bolts. That's when the game gets really scary. So if they can just sit on Mercy, commit the kicks, uh, you know, Waz's interrupt, the kidney shots, and just deny a lot of that incoming crowd control and damage, it's going to allow them to get to that position in the game where it is a little bit later on in dampening, but they could just flat out win at this point. There's a full polymorph on Drainer. Mercy's getting bursted down. He's not using the unending resolve. It could come in way too late, and it does, but I think he should be able to survive. It was overlapped with the Iron Bark from Drainer, so a lot of defense committed there by Zizon. And now, you can see Mercy, he's trying to start strike back. He is the Dark Soul rolling. Chaos Bolt gets casted out, but Raikou, easy counter spell, is going to deny that damage. And Mercy is really struggling in this game to build momentum. All right, let's see if Zizon can build momentum here. Otherwise, Method Black might just 3-0 and advance to the Grand Finals. Waz in a stun and Chaz is interrupt. This is the opportunity that they needed. It's a little bit more damage, but they don't have it. Now Mercy's in trouble. Very low on health. No defense. Waz sets up for the kill. Method Black 
on fire right now, but they don't have any follow-up. They can't do it. Drainer's in the blizzard. If they polymorph him, he'll break out. So good positioning on Drainer's part. Now Drainer jumping into the fight with that Feral Affinity trying to take down Raikou. Chaz gets a big heal. Cyclone's a Warlock. There's going to be nowhere near enough damage to take Raikou down. Both the teams are going to even out. And Chaz realizes that there's no damage output available right now. He's going to try and drink. They don't see it. Uh, Drainer, someone needs to stop this. If Chaz gets full mana, that's devastating. Method Black with a big lead on cooldowns, big lead on mana, just big lead in general right now. I mean, this matchup looks totally different than we've seen in the past. Yeah, Zyzon against other rogue mages look like they stand a chance, but against Method Black, it has not been looking good, but they're finding an opportunity potentially here on Chaz. He gets stunned into a follow-up stun. Nicely done by Jamie Warstomp, second Maledict. That is the Mortal Coil as well. Chaz forced to use Bark Skin, Iron Bark, and Trinket, but it's not too bad. Normally in those situations, it's kind of a disaster situation for the Restoration Druid, but that was all three Gladiators, Maledix from Mercy, Jamie, and Drainer. And that next oh no. attempt is not going to be that scary. They get the full polymorph. Drainer gets caught out. There's no defense if they keep the chain going. They're trying to kill Chaz, but Mercy needs help. Iron Bark, oh, if that smoke bomb was one second faster, it would have stopped Iron Bark. But it still may not be enough. Chaz gets the Cyclone. Method Black's crowd control is just on point today. Mercy going to be going down here in game number two. And Method Black, it's so awesome to see them back. No, but I'm not sure it'll be enough. I think you just want Zico to say you, if I'm I, being if honest. He wants to you, save me. That's up to you him. You keep bringing it up. You just want to serve him. We can, so we'll we can do mages spike next. Towards you. Oh, no. <laughs> what a disaster. I think well, everyone knows how is, you, Ben. Aw. All right, it's enough about us. This is about the players, okay? What about Drainer us? actually won one of the Spring Cups running this Warrior Death Knight composition into Method Black's Rogue Mage. Although things have changed a bit since then, and it is Jamie on Death Knight, not Cervantes. So, and I mean, I have to, I have to be honest. I feel like Cervantes is going to be the superior Death Knight in that regard. Not to say that Jamie is totally unserviceable, I think Zico would say, but it's definitely... You don't think there's a big difference between Jamie Deathmine and Cervantes? Same. I hope Cervantes isn't listening. <laughs> All right, Chaz uses his Iron Bark onto Raikou, and Raikou, surprisingly, he's not running Temporal Shield. I think that's uh, a little bit scary. I mean, he definitely is going to be the main target in this game, and that's a lot of defense he's going to be lacking in this matchup. But we'll have to see what they can get done. Drainer gets Kidney Shot. Big damage coming in from Method Black. That's going to be the anti-magic zone. Jamie trying to back him up with that defensive cooldown, but is it going to be enough is the question. Raikou getting counter-pressured away just a little bit. Nerd Rage with the Blade Storm. Jamie all over him, but it's Drainer that's still in a little bit of trouble. He's used his Bark Skin, Iron Bark, and his Trinket. The next stun on Drainer is going to be devastating. All right, let's see if Zyzon can survive the next attack. Maybe even just now, Waz engaging with a silence on Drainer. Kidney shot. He's out of bear form. Big hits here. Raikou gets the Frost Bolt. Did he get a Flurry proc? He did. Flurry proc in. Huge burst potential. Potentially the series out of the way here and now. If Drainer can't stay alive, Waz has chains of ice. He can't make it to the target. He would desperately like to just finish off Drainer, but he's not going to find the kill. Great support from Jamie there. Definitely filling Cervantes' shoes. You know, have to see what exactly they can get done in this game. There's a full polymorph secured on the Drainer, and now Jamie's in trouble. He's committed all of his defense offensively. Icebound Fortitude comes in, but there's still no anti-magic shell. Cyclone on Drainer. He gets out of the crowd control. Is he going to use the Iron Bark? No. Jamie on the Death Knight's going to be enough to keep himself alive. A few Death Strikes, and he's going to be just A-OK. -okay. Raikou has already used his Icy Veins. A little bit of defense uh, or offense is going to be lacking as they make a swap over on the Chaz. If we look at mana, it looks like Chaz is actually a little bit behind. There's been good pressure this game for Zyzon. Yeah, good pressure. This composition showing some signs of life, but at the moment, Jamie actually doesn't have many cooldowns. I'm surprised to see the Death Knight the target. I would have thought that you would, if you're not killing the Druid, you're killing the Warrior. I can't help but feel maybe the Death Knight's better in dampening, but before dampening, I mean, it has to be better to go on the Warrior. You keep him in defensive stance. You just can you can actually kill the warrior so much easier. I, I don't understand the targeting right now of going after the Death Knight. They're even committing the smoke bomb on the Death Knight. They don't even tickle him. Jamie's just gonna walk that off quite easily. Nerd Rage is having a lot of fun in battle stance. I did like targeting Drainer, but I feel like they should be switching their attention to Nerd Rage soon. They do try to go after him. Nerd Rage anticipates a stun and uses Blade Storm, so he can't be stunned there while Drainer's in Polymorph. But they're still going after Jamie. Drainer's polymorphed again. Perhaps they can take him down. He's got anti-magic shield in any magic zone. And Death Strike. 
I think he's going to be all right. He's building a lot of runic power. Raikou breaking through that anti-magic shield gives Jamie even more runic power. Munch, 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 munch. Death strike, death strike. Jamie back to full health. Cyclone, but not going to matter too much. The mana is in favor of Zizon, though, which is a bit surprising. I can't help but feel leaving Nerd Rage open this long is a mistake. He's carrying so hard right now with the pressure and battle stance. Uh, Arms Warrior is pretty good when you're not focused down or crowd controlled indefinitely, so they, they need to start punishing Nerd Rage. He's having way too much fun right now. Raikou getting chopped up. Chaz's mana is being burnt down faster than a candlestick at the moment. And, I mean, they're just letting it happen. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a lot of damage incoming from Zizon in this matchup, and that's normally what we see from the Warrior Death Knight. The only problem is, as a warrior, you're very susceptible to swaps, and that's what's happening right now. Drainer with the preemptive Iron Bar keeps Nerd Rage alive. Raikou still just trying to kite away the best he can in this matchup, using his shimmers all defensively, dropping down the Blizzard, trying to limit the uptime of Nerd Rage. Drainer moves forward, gets a little bit of damage under Raikou. If we look at mana, we'll have to see where Chaz is right now. Looking like he wants to get out of combat and go for a drink, but at the very least he's just distracting Jamie. Nerd Rage is on a solo mission, but Waz and Raikou, they decide to switch it up. If Jamie's not going to be able to back him up, they go after Drainer and for to sort of force Jamie off of Chaz. And now Chaz has an opportunity to potentially sneak away and recover some of his mana, but on this map it's going to be really difficult. All right, Waz low on health, mana's almost totally tapped, and on hook point, I don't think you're going to be able to find a drink for either team, so this could close out in favor of Method Black or Zizon. The Warrior Death Knight is working out, I would say, a lot better than the Elemental Shaman Warlock. They have pressure on the board, they've actually burned down some mana, they've gotten through some cooldowns throughout the fight, so I do like this composition better. Should Zizon even fall down to the lower bracket, this could be their answer for the Chalky Milkmen as well. Trainer's jumping in to try and get an Ice Block with the Feral Affinity. Waz is getting Swap two by Jamie and Nerd Rage. Big damage. Evasion's going to keep Waz alive, but how much longer? We've just entered dampening. There's no mana left now for Chaz. He's stunned up. Innervate's a minute away. Drainer has his rolling right now, so he's getting a lot of free healing. Raikou gets bashed. That's going to be an ice block. Zizon look like they're keeping themselves alive in the tournament right now. Yeah, Zizon doing a great job, and this is kind of unexpected. I don't think we thought Zizon would be able to win this matchup, but this is a matchup that they've won before. Jamie on the Death Knight holding it down. He's been doing a good job. Waz forced to run away. Nerd Rage putting out a ton of pressure so far in this game as he makes a swap over onto Chaz. Chaz has no mana left. Raikou's trying to back him up. He lands the Polymorph onto Nerd Rage, but Zizon is just moments away from closing out this game. Chaz is running on fumes. Waz is getting low. Raikou only has one ice block left. And Drainer, he's just playing full on aggression. Now, are they going to be able to take down Jamie Ooh. in the swap? It's a full hibernate actually onto Drainer. It was Polymorph, or it was hibernate and Polymorph coming in from Raikou and Drainer, or from Chaz. And Drainer really couldn't get out of the crowd control. Nerd Rage trinketed a Frost Nova. Waz has Smoke Bomb and Vendetta in 10. If they don't kill Nerd Rage with that setup, I can't help but feel that, like, in this position, the death, it's not deep enough dampening. I don't think Jamie is going to go down. They're out of mana. They're out of time. They have to pick the quickest route to victory. They drop Smoke Bomb. He goes into Battle Stance. Nerd Rage is just going to kill Waz, and they're almost just letting it happen. He has to Shadow Step to Chaz, but Nerd Rage is just going to close it up. He's playing so aggressive on this Warrior, using everything aggressive to get the kill, and he's not being punished at all for it. Trying to spell reflect potential crowd control, stay on target and finish Waz. Chaz has zero mana left. Waz has no defense for 20 seconds. What are they going to do? They don't have the smoke bomb anymore. They're in perfect position to do it. Jamie pre-anti-magic zones the incoming attack. Beautiful play from Jamie on that death knight. Now Waz is on the back foot. There's no mana. Waz is getting chopped. He's five seconds away from evasion. He shadow steps to the water elemental, but Nerd Rage is still just charging him down. Evasion now available. Chaz tops him off with zero mana left. Innervate was available just in the nick of time. Waz has to press evasion as soon as it's available. Jamie now could be in trouble, dampening at 15%. Trainer's gonna iron bark. Nerd Rage still chopping away with the Blade Storm, although I don't think Raikou should be the target. Maybe Nerd Rage is trying to bait Hots to switch over. Nerd Rage just gets the ice block on his own. Nerd Rage is single handedly owning Method Black in terms of pressure right now. Jamie's doing a phenomenal job to stay alive, but Nerd Rage is really getting an opportunity to shine right now in this Warrior. Ooh, Vendetta gets popped out by Waz. Jamie could be in so much trouble. Trainer has no mana, but there's no Iron Bark. Jamie's gonna have to keep himself alive. We're at 20% dampening, and this is where things start getting really scary for the Death Knight. Chaz is sitting down for a drink. He might be able to recover some mana, but Raikou, there's no Ice Block. Chaz has to play catch up, but he's got no mana to do so. Raikou blinks away. Iron Bark's been committed. What is Raikou going to do in this situation? Drainer just needs to help out with a little bit of damage, and I, I feel like it's certain Raikou's gonna fall. 
Yep, crowd control secured. Chess has no mana. He's trying to cyclone and maybe win the game. Dreener pre-iron... No, he trinket iron barks. Is that going to be enough? For 20% dampening, it might not be. Drainer Cyclone, Jamie's in trouble. He needs some runic power now for Death Strike. He's got enough for one, but he's trying to push for the kill. Jamie could fall at any moment. Raikou as Drew well. Nervage gets the execute. Ooh. Jamie stays alive at 10%. Is he going to be able to hold out? He's cycloned in low health. Method Black could still kill him. Waz could get chopped up by Nerd Rage. Drainer's in a bash. Waz needs to connect. He has to avoid Death Strike, though, and he has no mechanics to do so. Jamie's line of sighting. He's going to stun Cyclone. Waz is going to get finished by Nerd Rage. And that was some hard carry on offense by Nerd Rage here. Won the game. They don't get to pick the map, and they don't know what composition Method Black are going to play. So if they pick that Warrior, Method Black can pick the most ultimate counter possible to it. And there are a lot of them. So Zyzon can't play their Warrior Death Knight blind into Method Black. They'll just get blown out by a different composition. However, when they know the Rogue Mage is coming their way, you most certainly will expect to see Nerd Rage now when Zyzon is meeting these Rogue Mage Druids. However, they're going to have to overcome the disadvantage with the Elemental Shaman Warlock Druid matchup. Zico seems to think that the best way for them to do that is to target down Chaz on the healer. I do agree. I think, especially if Chaz is running the Feral Affinity, that he is going to take a lot of damage on Ashamane's fall with a lot of open space. You can catch Chaz in bad positions and just blow him up. So this is definitely a strategy they should consider. They have employed in the past, and now it's just a matter of finding that opportunity and seizing it when it arises. Yeah. Good damage over onto Waz. Lightning loss of attempt on Jamie. We'll have to see how aggressive Zyzon's going to play in this matchup. I feel like for Method Black, when we saw them play on Dalaran Sewers, it was a lot better for them to go after Mercy. Keep the stun locks, keep the kidney shots onto him, and you can force him in a very defensive situation where he's not able to get out those consistent fears or chaos bolts, which, quite frankly, was what it was allowing Zyzon to get so much momentum on the Grand Arena when we saw them go head-to-head -head in Game 1. All right, let's see how much pressure they can get. Drainer sitting through blind. Easy peasy for Drainer to sit through that, having activated Iron Bark prior to the crowd control. So now he removes the option of switching to him from the table. That's a black are playing defensive and trying to consider who they want to go after. Drainer is not going to give them any time to think. Jumping right on top of Method Black, showing some confidence there on that Restoration Druid, adding in some extra damage. Big burst here on Raikou. Chaz struggling a bit, spending a lot of an extraordinary amount of mana so far from Chaz initially. Potentially Zyzon can bank a win off of that, but in the meantime, Method Black are counterattacking. They've crowd controlled all three members of the team of Zyzon. Jamie is alone. How is he going to do? Home alone on Ashamane's fall. He's still crowd control on Drainer, managing to hold out for now. Big and Venom, double Mortal Coil from Mercy, denies the reconnect. Now Drainer out of crowd control, likely to be able to pick up Jamie here shortly with Iron Bark's defense activated. Jamie going after Chaz a lot more with the Lightning Lasso, but counterspelled by Raikou. Jamie's still under fire. They set up for a Polymorph out of the cheap shot. Not available, unfortunately. Possibly still on diminishing return. Drainer needs to dodge Polymorph. He can't afford to get caught into a Polymorph right now. I'm keeping my eyes on Raikou. He can't get in line of sight. He blinks over. Is Raikou going to go for the Polymorph? Goes for a Frost Nova instead. Maybe right. Drainer getting a reset out there trying to find him. Chaz looks like he wants to drink. And he most certainly needs to. No one's moving over to stop him. Instead, they're just going to try and get an Ice Block. I think that's the right move. Although Mercy then... Mercy went to stop the drink. I think they could have got an ice block if Mercy didn't go and try and stop the drink. Chaz got the mana back anyway, so seems like a miscommunication on Zyzon's part. So they don't get an ice block, and Chaz gets mana back, and Method Black keep themselves in the game. Yeah, it felt like Zyzon was a little bit uncoordinated in that situation. Unfortunately for them, Raku's still going to be able to hold on to that critical defensive cooldown. Double Mortal Coil comes in, and in this game, Mercy's had a lot more control. He's been able to get out fears. He's been able to deny Raku a lot. On the follow-up crowd control, Raikou gets a nice interrupt on Mercy. All three members from Methyl Black behind the pillar. They're looking for crowd control on Drainer. They might actually go after Drainer. I think Waz put a rupture on him, so he might try to make an opportunity there for the kidney shot if they can find it. But it looks like Jamie's still the primary target for Methyl Black. Raikou trying to get a polymorph. Can he sneak it in? Drainer denies with the travel form. Chaz in a prime position to land a cyclone on Jamie. Slow down any additional healing. And that gives them an opportunity to start setting up crowd control on the Drainer, but they really haven't been able to find it this game. There's a full blind coming in from Wall Street. No Drainer, he likes to sit these blinds. He knows Method Black wants to try to make an opportunity on him, so they're not giving up that trinket quite so easily. Yep, they know that Drainer is a possible swap target. I would like to see Chaz targeted more. He actually is right now. Two Chaos Bolts from Mercy. Mortal Call on Raikou, almost defen it was defensively to try and save Jamie. Waz is still dishing out a lot of damage, but Trainer's not crowd controlled, so quick Swiftman, Jamie's gonna be fully recovered. 
Mana is even at this point. Not what you want to see if you're Zyzon. Big push here on Raikou, bashed up by Dreener. Iron Bark going to deny this assault, though, from Chaz. Although he is expending a lot more mana than any of the previous games we've seen so far. Chaz gets spell locked. Mercy is playing a lot more aggressive as well with the interrupts, not using them to stop crowd control, but rather using them to prevent heals from Chaz, using the Infernals aggressively as well. Zizon are playing this matchup a lot differently. They're not using these to counter engage or Method Black pushes. Instead, they're trying to lead the charge. But if they lead the charge and don't get the kill, Method Black can then safely walk all over them a few moments later as they are in this position, immediately getting Astral Shift from Jamie. Drainer drops out of the poly, but Chaz gets follow-up. Jamie on the run, Waz on top of him. Waz trying to interrupt two players at the same time. Silencing Mercy and Jamie. Jamie's still alone. He uses Grounding Totem to stop the third Cyclone, but they snipe it. They go for the third, they get it. They need Polymorphs. If Riker gets a Polymorph here, it could be game over. Drainer definitely needs to avoid that at all costs. Raikou is feared by Mercy, giving Drainer time to heal. Jamie is stabilized. Drainer's trying to get aggressive, potentially go after Chaz. Chaz is already softened up and low on health. Boss, though, is the target with Lightning Lasso. Those two members at sub 50% health. Chaz spending a lot of mana to heal two targets. I do like Zizon playing a lot more bouncy in this game rather than strictly hitting one target. They are just committing damage to whoever they can, whenever they can, maxing it out, and that is forcing Chaz to expend more mana and potentially creating a win condition for them. Kitty shot on Jamie. This is the Innervate from Drainer. He's getting full use of it. That was really well timed, allowing him to get significant healing out onto Jamie. And now it's Raikou who's on the back foot. Drainer getting really aggressive with that Feral Affinity Cat form. We kind of talked about it at the beginning of that this matchup. This is going to be a really important part for Zizon. Drainer has to get aggressive with that Feral Affinity Cat form to help his team with damage. They forced out an Ice Block from Raikou. It's a big deal. He's only got one left. They can continue this push. We're at 8% dampening. We're getting close to the territory where Method Black just starts developing a massive lead with how defensive Jamie and Drainer have to start being. And all of a sudden, Drainer can't afford to be playing aggressive with that Feral Affinity. So, Zizon, they have to make a defensive push. They need to get that second Ice Block out of the way, and they need to do it quick. All right, can they get the cooldowns out of the way? Can they put a point on the board and take it all the way to Game 5? Zizon are showing signs of life, but Method Black's crowd control is still relentless. Can they keep it going? No, they can't. Drainer's out of the chain. He's getting heals going. He's actually behind on mana, though. Mana could be a factor. That assassination rogue is a ticking time bomb to kill the target in dampening. So dampening paying favors to both teams in that regard. Chaz the target finally here for Zizon. No bark skin. Drainer wants to get aggressive, but Jamie's under fire. So Drainer has to do a good job weaving in and out of cat form and healing Jamie at the same time, as well as avoiding crowd control, as well as predicting swaps to himself. I would say that Drainer is probably the most stressed player in the game in this specific matchup. He has to keep track of maybe three or four things at any given moment in time. And if he is able to maximize all of those at the same time, I think Zizon can win. But if he makes one mistake, the game is over. Yeah, Raikou looking for a Ring of Frost, gets denied, unfortunately, not able to find the crowd control on Drainer. That would have been a big moment. Drainer is able to connect the Iron Bark, and Jamie survives. 16% dampening. Good pressure here on the Raikou. This is what we want to see from Zizon. Are they going to be able to force out the Ice Block is the question. Raikou just out of line of sight, trying to avoid damage. He's paired up with Chaz. Drainer moves in, actually manages to find a little bit of damage of his own to really pressure back Raikou. If you look at mana, I think Drainer's way ahead at this point. Chaz is kind of struggling. It's actually relatively even, but I think it's Chaz that might have to sit down for a drink. All right, let's see who gets the drink here. Dampening is at critical mass. This game could end at any moment. Jamie gets Cycloned at incredibly low health, so Drainer can't heal through Cyclone. If Method Black can crowd control Drainer before he can heal Jamie, it could be the end of the game. Infernals get called in to stop the Cyclone. Mercy Mortal Quills two members away, but Drainer gets interrupted. He did cast Iron Bark before being interrupted, so he has some defense. That is a smart play as a healer. Activate your defensive cooldown and then just eat the interrupt for free. Let the defensive cooldown carry you while you're interrupted. Bit of an overlap here, bit of a mistake, but it might have been a forced mistake. Drainer trinketing out of blind and Jamie activating Astral Shift at the same time. Those are pretty much the strongest cooldown options that Zizon have available, and they use them in the same attack, but it lets them get aggressive at least. Maybe they can just end the game. Waz is very low on health and a stun. They don't have enough damage to finish him off, and now Jamie will be in a lot of trouble due to that overlap of cooldowns. Waz right on top of Jamie. Riker's moving in, but Chad can't get there. He's feared. It's all up to Mercy. He needs to keep Method Black at bay. He has to stop all the crowd control, but he can't. He's Cycloned. Trainer's going to Iron Bark this attack, but as soon as Iron Bark's over, Vendetta is ready and waiting to pop. Waz looking to pop off here in Game 4 and take the series 3-1. to one. 
I don't think Jamie makes it out alive here, Ben. I think it's unlikely at this point. Drainer, no trinket, no iron bark. Jamie, no trinket, no astral shift. One more setup from Metha Black will close out the game. There's Vendetta. Raikou almost has his icy veins. Everything in favor of Metha Black. They just need one good setup. Jamie with a lightning lot, so looking to deny Waz just a little bit longer. They're trying to buy some time, but I don't think they can find it. Full kidney shot comes in. What is Drainer going to do? Smoke bomb gets dropped out. Drainer charges in. He's in a full bash. Can Raikou find the polymorph? He does. This is a nightmare situation for Jamie. This is a game. Oh, whoa! They break the pol Did he summon in an imp? Mercy summons an imp pet to dispel the polymorph, allowing Drainer to use Iron Bark. Some high-level play there on the Warlock to try and pull some victory off here. But he's cycloned at low health and can't be healed during Iron Bark. That imp dispel is the only reason Jamie's still alive, but it may not even still be enough. Stun locked. While your healer is cycloned, it's almost guaranteed to be a KO. Multiple gliders, Maledix. Jamie's on the ropes here, literally on the ropes with a lightning lasso to hold out. Counter-aggressing was at the same time. Raikou has no ice blocks. If Mercy can get a Chaos Bolt, he could close it out. Either team could fall at this point. Jamie's on the run. Mercy's trying to carry, but he can't get in the line of sight. He nether wards the poly, which stops himself from being poly, but he heals the mage back to full. Drainer's still crowd controlled. He trinkets to try and save him, but Frost with one second out of line of sight. Iron marks him at 10% health. Mercy just wants to cast a Chaos Bolt in the game, but can't keep up on that Warlock with the mobility. Jamie's just been running for the better part of two minutes at this point. He's got Stormkeeper. He's got two big Lightning Bolts in his back pocket. If Waz comes around the corner without a stun, Jamie is going to zap him. He has to be careful. One Lightning Bolt into the Lightning Bolt, so but he gets bashed. Jamie Trinkets, he knocks him into the open for Chaos Bolts. Mercy is finally here, going to be able to get a Chaos Bolt. He's fake casting the interrupts. He gets stunned, but now they don't have a stun for Jamie. They Frost Nova Jamie, so Waz can catch up. Beautiful adaptation there. Waz is getting full uptime. There's no mana. There's no Iron Bark for five, and I don't even know how it's possible for Jamie to be alive right now, but he is. Waz could be in trouble if Lightning Lasso comes off cooldown and they crowd control Raikou. Infernals have entered. Waz is stunned. Chaz is totally tapped. Still any team could fall. It's match point. Chaz gets winchered. Jamie hard carrying. They can't stop the lasso. Waz taking a huge hit. Somehow, someway, Chaz keeps Waz alive. I mean, somehow, some way, Drainer keeps Jamie alive now at 40% dampening. Yeah, Waz with Vendetta, though. Jamie, he may have ran out of time. He still has the Astral Shift. We're at 41% dampening. Both Druids totally tap. Raikou, he has a nice block back up. Cheap shot on Drainer. Kidney shot on Jamie. Garot silence. And Jamie will ultimately fall. Oh. He tried so hard. He feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth.